Inventory. So where interest rates were the real estate buzzword for 2022, in 2023, I believe it's going to be all about inventory. And this might lead you to wonder, well, why is there so much discussion about inventory? Like, why does it really matter? So I'm here to share with you a few things that you might not know. Inventory is the number of homes for sale at any given time. Inventory, unlike sales prices, which are a lagging indicator and reflection of the past, because when a home sells, that price was actually committed to maybe 30 days in advance. Inventory is a real time metric. We have data that tells us exactly how many homes are for sale today. We don't have to wait 30 months for 30 days for that. When inventory is high, that means there's a lot of homes for sale. And when inventory is low, that means there's relatively few homes for sale. When inventory in a given market is low and there are more buyers than homes for sale, this is where we see competitive offer situations. And these competitive offer situations typically result in price escalations and prices increasing. Conversely, when inventory in a given market is high, buyers have more homes to choose from. Buyers can negotiate better prices and better contract terms with sellers who are competing with these other homes on the market that are for sale. So in the DC area right now, we currently both have markets with very low inventory that really have just had low inventory over the last few years, hasn't, hasn't changed. But we have these other markets that have higher inventory that really present great opportunities to buyers who are looking for a good deal. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about where we're seeing higher inventory levels, feel free to reach out and I would be happy to share this with you.